Hi everyone, this is a quick review of how to add issues in the UAT testing MRP implementation project in WordPress. So once you've logged into the project, click on your functional area. In this example, we're going to go to packaging. Once you're in packaging, you want to make sure that you are in the issues tab. So click on issues to open up that tab. And then again, you want to make sure that your view is set correctly, that you're in the right view. For example, you want to make sure that you are in UAT, UAT testing. There we go. And then at this point, you're ready to go ahead and add your issues. So click on the issue here and go ahead and type in your issue. Enter. description, make the assignment, in this case I'm going to choose myself, and again tab over or click on the test status. We suggest you enter in the issue uh, ahead of testing, so we're going to go ahead and say this is not tested. This allows you then, then in turn to go ahead and test the issue in NAV or whatever it is that you're testing. Come back to this issue after testing, enter in a result. Everything this is fine. Make the update. Go back to your screen prior and then make the change here from test set to test pass or test fail. Now let's enter in another example. In this case, it's going to be a test fail. Go through the process again. Enter description. Again, we're just going to assign it to myself. The first step is to go ahead and say not tested. We go off and do the testing. We find out that there's issues. We come back, click on the link there. In this case, this has failed. Add the reasons why. This test of late in the day, this test of whatever process didn't work and this describe the reasons why. Correct your spelling if you like. At this point, since it's a fail, we're going to go ahead and edit the assignment. We're going to add the MRP team for support, MRP support. And we may add other people as needed to the assignment. Go ahead and click assign. And then come back to the update, click update. Uh, for example, if you had a screen capture in terms of the details of the error, I'll just exemplify how to do that. We'll go ahead and screen capture the information. Go into documents. Add new, paste from clipboard, and do a control V. And click on done. And you'll see that the image is now pasted into the issue folder, or the documents folder. Click on updates. Make sure everything is up to speed in terms of the details. Click back button to go back to your previous page here and change the status to tested fail. And there you go. Those are examples of how to add a tested pass and tested fail and the suggested process for updating the issues as you go through the testing process. Thanks again. Take care.